There are numerous mysterious places all around the world that can make one's mind go blank. If you search hard enough, you can find plausible arguments for the existence of many of them. Myths and legends have been told about others, and we may never know the true stories behind them. The Eye of the Sahara, also known as the Richat structure, is one of the most well-known geological phenomena in recent years, and there's a chance it's linked to the fictitious but well-known lost city of Atlantis. But for those unfamiliar, what exactly is the Richat structure? The Richat structure is a sedimentary rock formation in Mauritania's Sahara Desert. It was given the nickname Eye of the Sahara because it can be seen from space and is used as a navigational aid by astronauts aboard the International Space Station. In the center of the desert stands a circular structure with the appearance of a bullseye approximately 30 kilometers in diameter. Initially, geologists assumed that the Richat structure was a meteorite impact crater that had existed from the beginning of time. The geological traits, however, did not support that hypothesis. Another idea is that it is a dome that's been eroded over time, exposing many distinct layers of rock that have formed symmetrical rings around it, with the oldest rings on the structure's periphery. Researchers have recently claimed that the Richat structure is roughly 100 million years old and was developed as a result of volcanic activity. They believe that the Earth's surface expanded upward into the shape of a dome as a result of the creation of a gigantic magma-filled cavern. They also suspect that hydrothermal modification of the limestone led the structure to become brittle and eventually collapse. The surface is thought to have been eroded over thousands of years, resulting in the construction of rings and valleys. The Breccia Massif, which is a rock consisting of smaller boulders fused together, is thought to have been formed in the dome by molten rock. Pangaea, the supercontinent, broke apart, allowing the Atlantic Ocean to enter. At the same time, lava beneath the surface surged out from the Earth's mantle, forming a round rocky dome surrounded by sandstone layers. However, its origins remain a sensitive point of contention. But now a popular school of thought believes the Eye of the Sahara is the legendary lost city of Atlantis. Before diving into this, what is the city of Atlantis? Plato, a Greek philosopher, discussed the long-lost metropolis of Atlantis in his books Critias and Timaeus, around 360 BC. He told his audience about a beautiful metropolis that was destroyed 11,600 years ago. Plato presents Atlantis as an island controlled by strong monarchs who also wielded authority over the surrounding islands. According to tradition, it was a walled metropolis made up of rings of land and water, with bridges connecting each of the circles. According to Greek mythology, Poseidon, the god of the sea, discovered Atlantis and discovered it to be populated by the wisest and most beautiful people on Earth, including his true love, Clato. Poseidon's strategy to keep other suitors away was to confine Clato in a palace surrounded by moats. This strategy was utterly lethal. The couple had five sets of twin boys, the first of whom, Atlas, would grow up to rule Atlantis and name the Atlantic Ocean after him. Atlantis appears to have been the pinnacle of magnificence and dignity. It was a place where the wealthy lived, where technology was cutting edge, and where the military was fearsome. It was stated that the people who lived there were from another planet, were even substantially taller than humans, and can live for up to 800 years. It was claimed that the people of Atlantis possessed the capacity to influence the environment and produce volcanic eruptions, leading to the belief that they were neither wholly human nor fully divine. According to the story, Atlantis was a corrupt and immoral society that had succumbed to avarice. As a form of revenge, the gods sent fire and earthquakes to devastate the city, eventually submerging it beneath the water. So how does the city of Atlantis relate to the Richat structure? Many people believe Plato's Atlantis stories were allegories and that he used Atlantis to demonstrate philosophical issues in his writings. Plato's Atlantis myth may be similar to James Cameron's Avatar, in which he warns us that corporate greed and bigotry may quickly poison and potentially destroy our society. If we start to compare the two structures, we actually get that there is a lot in common. First, according to tradition, the circumference of the circular island that functioned as Atlantis was 127 stadia. One stadia equals 607 feet. When you multiply 127 by 607, you get 77,089 feet. 
This is approximately 14.6 miles, which is the diameter of the eye. Also in Critaeus and Timaeus, Plato presents Atlantis as having three alternating zones of water and two zones of land. This is simply translated into the physical form of the eye as we know it today. The nearby mountains were also revered for their lush rivers and gushing waterfalls, and they were supposed to be tangible incarnations of the gods. It was speculated that these mountains could be discovered in the north, which is precisely where the eye's mountains are located. When viewing satellite images of the eye, you can see the rivers and water lines that flow through the region, and these characteristics are quite noticeable. Plato's description of the sea to the south of Atlantis and the desert that encircled it also corresponds to satellite images of the area. The source of the clean water was thought to be the central island of Atlantis, which is also said to be located in the center of the eye's central circle. Satellite imagery shows that mud was spread across the area due to weather conditions. This might readily be related to a tsunami, which was just one of many elements of the meteorological system that simultaneously destroyed Atlantis. And if you were to look at exports, Mauritania's principal exports are copper and gold, both of which were abundant throughout the Atlantean Empire. Moving on, according to Plato, elephants and a wide range of other species thrived on Atlantis, and a large quantity of elephant bones have been unearthed in the vicinity of the eye. The city of Atlantis was claimed to be made up of rocks of various colors, including darker, redder, and lighter ones. And again, this is also true with the Rachat structure. Also, since its discovery, the Rachat structure and its surroundings have revealed hundreds of artifacts. The majority of them are at least 12,000 years old, putting them during the same time of Atlantis. These artifacts include, among other things, arrowheads, spears, stone spheres, surfboards, oars, and ship hulls. The city of Atlantis, according to popular mythology, served as the imperial capital of the Atlantean Empire, which was made up of ten independent kingdoms. Poseidon, the god of the sea, had five sets of twins for a total of ten children, with each child in charge of one of the ten kingdoms. Twin births are a very rare occurrence. It just so happens that the country with the greatest rate of twin births in the world is Nigeria, which is geographically near Mauritania. All of these can be coincidences, but we think not. Plato and Solon were rarely called into question, since it was common knowledge that they were honest. The only story of Plato's that's ever been challenged is the one about Atlantis. One of the most strange aspects of the history of the lost continent of Atlantis is that none of these beliefs are published in Wikipedia and that every page connected to Atlantis is locked. Why is it that a resource believed to be one of the most precious in the world doesn't include the widely accepted hypothesis that Atlantis existed? Consider that the city of Troy, currently called Hisarlik, was supposed to be a myth for thousands of years until it was discovered exactly where it was predicted to be. Well, that is if you're still on the fence about the Eye of the Sahara being the location of Atlantis.